Welcome to I Love Stocks. We definitely had a real good earnings last night. I really appreciated that. We've had two real hard red days. I think we're going to have us a green day today and then kind of start to balance out and find a support level. Now I want to show you where I think support level will be on the SPX. This here is a three year chart. You can see the trends follow pretty good and we had a trend up here and we broke that trend. So I'm thinking maybe in the support level is going to be this peak right up in here on the three year at 3202.94 with the 3217.86 alert set up. Now we are, um, we did have a couple good days. We had a pretty big red candle right here. One more would be nice if we could bring it down. If not, we can start to reverse. At least we're going to move up a little bit today. I'll show you by looking at the daily. Now we did kind of pull back and hold steady right in here, so we're still we're still holding up. Now remember I got my alert set at 32.17.86. I think the SPX can see 3200 again by the election or a little after. And we're going to go ahead and go straight to the SPY. SPY have been calling pretty good. I've hit five out of six calls now. I patiently wait in the morning for the pullbacks and look for confirmation. Here we had the triple, triple bottom yesterday and then it bounced on up and hit that resistance level and that's what I call a resistance level right now at 330.19 let's go ahead and pull up the yearly chart take a look at it got a low support right down here right around the 320 area you see that runs right into that 200 EMA I want to double check it with the um, SMA oh, that's the wrong one gotta get the yearly the SMA is down here at 312.41, so that's pretty low right now. We had a golden cross here, and it ran on up. We had a death wish here, and she pulled on back, started rebounding up. So it's kind of good to watch these 50 and the 200 SMA. That's a possibility of a low support at 312. 320 is your scenario to hold. I'd like to see that hold and, and just create a channel. We did have a lower high, so I do believe with the... Ec with the increase in corona, I think we can pull back to this lower channel right in here, right around 320 to 323 to 30 something, and that's the that's the channel you want to be watching. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Well, we'll just say 32020 20 and 32331 are the solid supports. Let's go ahead and start talking about some tickers now. You know, everybody really enjoyed pins. Vegas loves pins. She called this out at 20 bucks. Said it could go be one of the next Facebooks. Well, you can sure tell by the earnings. I'm going to go ahead and erase all this numble jumble. This is where we were calling it down here. So, yeah, look at that run it's had. We're going to erase all this. It makes no sense. It's all fogged up. Okay, let's draw a trend line from right in here. Bam, all the way up to that. Let's extend that to the right. Just kind of get a little scenario case. I don't think that'll work. I'm going to put another one right in here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get rid of this drawing here. 45 is a little scenario. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. We'll take that to the right. So that's going to be like our low case scenario. You see it topped up right here. We're going to draw a trend line right across there for a low possibility of a strong buy. The top of that resistance level that we had. Let's Chalk that in. We're going to bring this back. We're going to try to find us a little support on this breakout. Oh, there it is. That's the top. I wanted to get down here. Shoot. Erase that. Blah. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and put one right here. And try to find some support levels. And then this real strong one right here at 5092. Right in between that equilibrium. Then we got this wick right here. We're going to chalk that up. Okay. Let's bring this to the 20 day real fast. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. She did pull back right here to 5878. Now we're going to go to the daily one minute. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Strong buy right here at 
5415. Bam. This is PINS. Then we're going to take it to the 20 day. That is the 20 day. We're going to take it to the one minute. See that fat finger? Then we got a little support right in here. Then we got a little congested area right in here. So we're going to put that right there where that candle is. These are the three support areas, that, or at least the four that I like. 61, it's overextended. It's going to pull back. Low support down here right around 58, 78 to hold. If that holds, you can get a retracement bounce back to 61.52, and that would be a hard resistance to break. If this does not hold here, this support does not hold here, then we're going to start to fail a little bit and pull back a little bit more. But we're definitely overextended. You might want to look for a 50% retracement on this breakout and see if we can find that. pull this up to the daily one minute like 50 percent's right down in here somewhere and that looks pretty good too it looks pretty solid so let's draw a little trend line right here at the 50 percent retracement on the fibonacci's come on a little early in the morning for me that 50 percent retracement right there i like it 56.77 for a strong buy that's about a 50% retracement. And if it hits 54, I'm in the trade long. That is pins. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Facebook. Facebook, nice little breakout after hours. You see it did pull back pretty hard. No Zucks up there testifying in front of Congress about censorship. You know, I'm not happy with Facebook nor uh, Twitter right now. But, you know, we're turning into a communist country, I'm telling you. So we got a scenario right here at 272.78. That's going to be your low support. I think resistance break. It's going to start building back up. It had great earnings. It always does. 278.95 to break. And then we got the 282 scenario up here on the daily one minute. Let's go ahead and look at the 20 day and see if I missed anything in here. Yeah, see, you always pull up that 20 day for a reference tool. We have a pivot point in this channel. We did pull back to that pivot point. And then the resistance to break is going to be these two right up here. Long, 286, take your money. Anything above 282.59, that's going to be a hard resistance. And if we can break that, we're going to go higher. But right now, I mean, let me look at this trend line right here on the 20 day. We'll get her down here at the bottom. Put it right there on that wick. Right there. We'll take this and extend it to the right. That's your low scenario support right there. See it? We'll follow that trend line on down. We almost hit that there. So if it does pull back strong buy, you can chalk that up with these two low lines here on the on the 20 day one hour. Resistance to break is going to be up here, these three resistance levels. And we're going to call them out. They're going to be 278.95, 282.59, uh, gift at 286.34. And that is Facebook. Let me put that down here on PP, Facebook and pins. There's another one that I'm really starting to like, and that's Snow. I noticed yesterday in the bad day that we had, she had a real good day. She did have a pretty hard sell-off, pulled back to my support level that I had in this channel. I call it a PP. If anybody doesn't know what that is, it's called a pivot point in this channel. So the resistance that we had to break was these three tops. You see, we did on the fourth and had the big breakout. She pulled back into that channel. Now we're sitting back up and going up into resistance. Now I like this stock, but I also like to play it on a pullback. Do you know where the supports are? They're right here. We're going to have a 266.60. Two sixty six seventy three, two sixty one ninety one, and then possibility of maybe hitting this two hundred EMA on the twenty day one hour at two fifty seven even. Those are your three supports. You're going to go down here to the horizontal line of the quad trop breakout. That's going to be your solid buy at two fifty two fourteen, and that is snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Now you know Twitter. Twitter's had a good run. 
but in my mind, I think that it's a little over overdone, especially after Jack's performance yesterday. He looked like he was half stoned in front of Congress. I sure didn't appreciate that. Kept that beard off and looked like a man. So we're gonna pull this thing on back. We have the triple bottom down here on Twitter that I called out. We hit that 200 and it bounced on up and had that big, huge candle. Now I think this thing can pull back. We do definitely have us a nice little, uh, um, I would call almost a blowhorn pattern, but it's a bullish pattern. And, and I think it can still keep going higher, but it also have these steep pullbacks every other day. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm thinking it's, it's, it's finding, it's consolidating. It's breaking out new highs and it's pulling back to solid support. Breaking out new highs and pulling back solid support. Show you what I'm talking about in a diagram, not a diaphragm. There we go, right there to the right. And then you've got this support channel right in here. So we're gonna to try to find an equilibrium in this channel. The first three supports are gonna be strong buy at 48.95, First support at 49.48, 50.03, and then 50.46, and then new higher highs will keep following this trend line all the way up. And that is going to be Twitter. Jack, start acting like a decent human being. Let's go ahead and go to, I want to put that down here, TW, and we do have a Twitter account. You can find it on our page and hit that like button. Here's another one that I'm really starting to like, and that's TWLO. I've got this on my watch list. I have a strong buy down here at 277.01. If she decides to pull back, I think the resistance is going to be 310.41. And if we can break that, we'll go higher. But for right now, we have a lower performance of lower highs. And then we have a support level right down here, I think, at 276. I have a 277.01 strong buy. And actually, I'm going to raise this up a little bit because of my new adjustment here on the wicks of these candles, the bodies of these candles, and I'm going to replace that support level at 2801, right here at the bottom of this channel right in here. You see that? That's going to be the new support level for a double bottom. If she decides to break on the daily one minute, let's see what she looks like. Dice into after hours. I'm going to go ahead and put a little support line right here on the ascending triangle. I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then this will be the last one of the day. Right in here. We're going to turn this into blue. We're going to raise this up about three, and we're going to shut this sucker off, and we're going to turn that on, and then I'm going to come in here. I love pointing out these ascending triangles. And then they, This is how they work. Up, down, up. Found a pivot point, start to show a lot of bullishness. Third time up, didn't want to break, triple top. Pulled back to that trend line, bam, then she broke out. So that's going to be your solid support at 290.77 on TWLO if it does pull back to that area. Now you got another support level right in here. We're going to chalk that in there after our support right here at close at 297. But let me bring it right down to the bottom of this loop at 295.82 where we had that breakout and that extension. Then we're going to put one right here. I think this first support will fail at 296, 297. And a solid strong buy right down in here. See, we've had a nice little channel break up in here too. So I'm real hot on TWLO. Any kind of pullback could be a strong buy back up. And that is TWLO. And I wish everybody a great day trading. And this is I Love Stocks. Also remember, we do have a Twitter bird over here. Hit that follow button. We're posting alerts in here all the time. We've got my charts coming in here. We got Ford. I got a target to 850. We had pins in here after hours. We've got some others. We called this thing at 13 hours ago at pins. Revenue beat 12 cents. That's pretty good. But we post alerts in here all the time. We have Nile. We've been hot on Nile. IWM. TUP had a great run. So we're always trying to keep people updated. I wish everybody a great day, and I love stocks.